Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of the Points of Articulation. My name's Dave, and today is December 22nd, and you know what that means. Another Star Trek Hallmark review, and today we have a cool one, The Man Trap, released in 2016. And 2016 is the 50th anniversary line, so they have this one, another ornament, a uh, Star Trek Legends character, which we already looked at, check off. And then they have a, like a set diorama piece, but I didn't find that anywhere. But, uh, back to this, The Man Trap was a cool episode, Season 1, Episode 1, released in 1966. Very nice one with the salt vampire, as it's, uh, known. And, uh, this ornament is a little over four inches tall, and we have Kirk and the salt vampire in a chair. Very nice with the bass. And it plays three audio recordings, which features Kirk, Spock, and McCoy. And we have a lot to talk about with this quick review, so let's get started. Now, starting off with this review, we're going to begin with the bottom of the Man Trap, released in 2016. And uh, we have our little battery compartment, copyright. We have our holes for the speaker. And then we have three bumps, so you can place it on a desk and not ne necessarily a tree. And speaking of tree, on top of the salt vampire, we have our ornament loop. And you know what that's for by now, to take our hook. And we can hang it from a tree or wherever you seem fit. And uh, I guess I'll break this up. First we'll look at Kirk and then the Salt Vampire. And I just want to say, this ornament is beautiful. Like uh, the man who did it. Actually, I'm going to look who did it right now. Okay, so I ran and grabbed the box. And apparently his name is... Of course it's not going to focus on that. But apparently his name is Jake Angel. And, uh, this guy, holy crap. You know, I, I wish I could pick his brain and find out how he did this. And I know there's a lot of tricks here and there on how people sculpt. But this guy deserves all the credit in the world. I think this is a beautiful, beautiful piece. And, uh, like I mentioned before, we're going to start with Kirk, the chair, and then move on to the salt vampire, which... Oh, amazing. So... First we have Kirk's boots, which are nice black and glossy. Little rays there, because he's being attacked. Then we have his pants, the bell-bottom type things. Nice, we have a little folds right there. Now his shirt, amazing, amazing from what we've seen so far. Just the way the fabric stretches. Like, look at that, you can see his muscle in there. And the pieces, even though the arm is separate from uh, the body and they put it together, you can feel the seam right there. It matches. You can see where it starts here. It keeps going into the back. Very, very nice. We have individual fingers, which are very uh, fragile. I wouldn't mess with them too much. And even uh, these golden stripes are molded. You can feel it. Very, very cool. There's his golden delta right there with the command insignia. And look, even the front of his shirt is nicely done. And then we come up to his head, and that is Captain Kirk. Like, of course, he's screaming like a madman, but, uh, yeah. The hair is done, the eyes, the ears, the mouth. Look at the teeth in there. And it's, uh, pink for his tongue, white for the teeth, brown for the eyebrows and head. Just very nice. Great skin tone. Black for the collar. Again, gold paint on his sleeves. And his chair is pretty cool too. A nice light gray. Glossy black for the back of the chair. And the seat section right here. Very awesome. Well done, man. This is a great ornament. So now, to the best part. The salt vampire, as the fans like to call it. We'll start here. Great great hair. You know, it's very hard to imitate fur. And I think this guy did a great job. Just real nice. And it's uh, like a whitish gray with a dark gray on top of it, like a wash. And that brings out all this great detail here. Beautiful. And then it's clothing is its uh, yellowish tan net. You can see it going over its arms, like a tank top. Again, nice detailed wash. And then we get to its hands with the suction cups on it. 
nice green color just beautiful and then the face is just awesome nice green color yellow black eyes white eyebrows detail on the face the mouth has the white teeth with the uh, dark pink for the inside just really nice excellent excellent so now let's take a listen to the audio so it's that time now to listen to the audio tracks again there are three of them so let's take a listen again there's the button here we go oops captain's log continuing the enterprise has been invaded by a creature capable of assuming any form and with a capacity to paralyze and draw the life from any one of us she's not nancy bones it killed four crewmen yet the creature it kills it needs salt to live my guess is she needs more you want it nancy come and get it it's killing the captain shoot it doctor quickly How great is that? And that does it for my quick review. And all I have to say is I'm personally blown away by this ornament. Uh, I had this in a box still, waiting for me to review it. And I really didn't get to look at it and put the batteries in until I started filming and uh, looking at it and taking notes. And I am blown away by this. And, uh, Geez, I fully recommend it. You know, this ornament is worthy of the 50th anniversary line. Just beautiful. Nice, thick bass. The audio's great. Kirk looks awesome. And the Salt Vampire is spot on and amazing with the green face. Just beautiful. Beautiful, beautiful. And, uh... Geez. If you're a fan of Star Trek, pick it up. Get it off eBay, Amazon... If they still have it in a Hallmark store, grab it. It, it is very impressive. And I really don't know what else to say. So I guess uh, that's it. Thank you for joining me today. I hope you enjoyed my review. And I will see you next time. Bye everybody.